is going on guys we're back here with another video for you guys first of all i just want to say man you guys thank you for the love thank you for the support the crazy comments I mean, some of you guys are leaving comments i'm just cracking up uh i i love that you guys are, are liking the channel liking the videos because like i always say in my videos without you guys you know there is no channel so if you guys don't enjoy it i don't enjoy it you guys are my motivation and you guys keep me wanting to post more and more videos for you so today's video, we're going to check out, we're going to go to my father-in-law's house. You guys saw uh, his Acura NSX, the one that was sitting in the jacuzzi. That's pretty much all he does. Uh, we are going to go to his house right now. He just bought a new boat. He said he bought an Advantage, like mine. He doesn't want to show me. Uh, he just said, come over, come check it out. He had an Advantage, a like 18 foot, a little one, a little Advantage. Then I got this one and uh, he got a little jealous. So he said, all right. That's it. I'm buying a new boat. So he bought an Advantage. He just says that it's pretty much faster and better than mine, and it's going to smoke mine. So we're going to head to his house. We're going to go check it out. We're going to see pretty much if it's faster, if it's better, if it's as badass as he says it is. Um, he says that the motor that is in it is a badass motor. So, you know, let's just go check it out and find out. First, let's go get the... Uh, Dirty Max warmed up over here. You know, I haven't driven her in a while. And we are, by the way, guys, tomorrow we're taking our boats out on the lake. I will shoot some videos for you guys of my boat and my father-in-law's boat. And we're gonna uh we're gonna test these out. Maybe we'll do a little uh little race out there and see uh how my boat compares and handles compared to his boat. But first let's uh warm up the dirty max real quick. me how to get this screen on my last video uh, the four high or four low video uh, on a Denali you go to the info button and you got to turn all the pages on and I'm actually I'm trying to drive here but I will I'll try to show you guys here so it looks like this you go down to the settings click the settings and you're gonna see you think it says pages so right there see how it says 13 out of 14 pages are on or activated Turn them all on and you will get that option. Now, a lot of you guys that have the uh, Chevys, the Silverados, are asking me and telling me you don't have that option. I don't know um, personally on how to do it on a Chevy, but I know it can be done. Um, I called my cousin and he said, yeah, his is done, but it came from the dealership that way. He didn't have to set anything up. Oh, now look at this truck. This guy's truck is pretty nice right here. This is actually one of my uh, customer's truck. I had to work on it. Uh, if you guys remember the black Denali over here, this guy, I don't actually, I don't remember if I showed you guys this. So this guy right here, if you guys uh, for San Diego people know Soapy Joe's or have heard of Soapy Joe's, this right here is the owner of Soapy Joe's right here. And it's like a, a I, I'm always vlogging, baby. <laughs> so this is a, the owner of Soapy Joe's guys right here. So if there's any problems, you can yell at this guy Somebody's right here. He's gonna try to kill me, man. <laughs> He's got, it looks like a trailer park over. He's got trailers of trailers of trailers over here. So this guy's pretty popular, but that's his Denali. I'll do a full review on it for you guys uh, eventually. It is a pretty, pretty sick Denali. What the heck happened to the front bumper? Oh, I hit it. Oh my, I gotta get, hold on guys, we gotta get out and check this out real quick. You're gonna be vlogging for a minute, I'm leaving. <laughs> no, no, no. What in the hell? What happened? Uh, What'd you hit? Somebody. Somebody, okay. Well, let me know guys, leave that down in the comments below if you want me to do a full review on this truck. He's got pretty much the same setup uh, that I did. We put the 30 inch rigid with the uh, LED lights and also, uh, his custom plate you're making me crazy okay and somebody commented down below what does it look like with the amp power steps and the def tank that's what it looks like yes guys believe it or not this truck is not deleted it is california approved in all 50 states uh legal he still has pretty much everything on it here we go we're pulling in here uh-oh here it is guys what do you think what does he got over here talladega there's his uh, NSX in there. I don't know. What do you guys think? I think I'll smoke him still. I can't. I can't talk too much yet. We got to check out the motor first. The Talladega Advantage Edition. You're still gonna get smoked. You know that, right? 
If, if you guys remember him, my father, he's the one that sits in a jacuzzi because he'll drown if he uh, doesn't stay in there. Hello. He's the one that does uh, nothing all day. You guys ask me, man, I love his NSX. What does he do for a living? Nothing. He's a welfare baby. <laughs> Actually, he made a uh, very, very uh, creative and good company that pretty much blew up and exploded. And I'm not going to get into all that right now, but... It did very, very good. Obviously, you know, you can see here his Denali, his NSX, golf cart, razors, you know, and his new boat here. So this is it, guys. 22-foot advantage party kit. This looks just like mine. Same thing. I like the uh, the checkered flag, though. Hey, you turn the water on? Yeah, well, wait, wait a minute. Should I back my truck up? I don't want you getting water all over my truck. Don't, 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 don't go crazy. We got to turn the water on. Hold on, guys. All right, let's hear this Prius. Go ahead, start it up. advantage for sale and I'm gonna have to get a uh, new boat now uh, because that sounds pretty dangerous so either I'm gonna have to put like another motor in mine or a supercharger uh, or something in this thing uh, because mine mine doesn't sound like that I'm kind of upset right now what year is this you said a 2000 2000 this thing looks brand new it looks like pristine like it's never seen Sun man let's go check out the inside guys all right Oh, I like the uh, the carpet right here. Yeah. That's nice. Got speakers. Yeah, so it's like identical to mine. Same thing. You got your little blender, your sink. See, now, guys, this is what I do like about his is he's got the double little shade area. Mine only has a single one in the back. So it looks like I'm going to have to uh, get another one over here because he's got a lot of cool stuff in here. Mine is missing this cap. I got to get that too. Is this like the little bathroom thingy? That's the ice chest area. I don't, we don't go to the bathroom on this boat. Nice. Yeah, I got rid of that to also. So it looks like I, this is pretty much identical to mine. Same same exact thing. Oh, I don't have a mirror. I need a mirror. Hey, how you doing, guys? Okay, so we got we're going to interrupt this cocktail hour here real quick. So explain to me what the hell is in this thing exactly? It's a 565 cubic inch big block, aluminum heads, aluminum Jeez. headers. It's got a roller rocker arms, crank. Rocker, yeah, roller rocker cranks. It's got a JE pistons in it. it sounds like it's got a big cam in it. Big, nice cam, roller rocker cam. And what's the horsepower in here? 700 and change. Jeez. Well, guys, uh, I don't know. We're going to see what happens uh, when we get on the lake, but I might, I might have to sell mine. I'm not, not sure yet, but this thing, uh, it sounds very, very intimidating, and I'm a little worried, especially being only 22 feet. This thing is, uh, I mean, much, much lighter than mine, and, I mean, shit, it doesn't even look like, you know, from 22 to mine, there's still plenty of room in here. I mean, you got all your leg room. The seats, you know, can still fit a full person in here it's it's just it's identical it doesn't look any different besides color so guys he did have a uh, running problem before i got here and here was the problem right here it looks like all of Calcium this deposits. crap yeah from the carburetor would just build up so for you guys that have carbureted anything i highly suggest if they are going to sit you need to rent them out of fuel so you don't have you know all this situation right here and if you want to go fuel injected buy yourself you know an Acura NSX and uh you don't have to worry about none of that stuff man look at that what do you guys think you guys think I should sell the Hellcat and get an Acura you guys let me know you leave down in the comments below Hellcat or Acura I'm very curious to know or uh if you guys want a razor this razor is a 2016 or 17 I think you've driven it how many times once twice it's got three hours on it three hours on it this thing just pretty much Sits here on a battery tender, and uh, we're not even really sure why he bought it because he doesn't use it. None of these. The only oh, thing that gets used. Right now on a ride, and I'm 
Yeah, I tried calling Brandon and his phone was like going beep. I'm like, what is this guy in Mexico? He has just too many toys, this guy. And um, he's this is probably like, I don't know, his fifth boat this summer. And Ten. summer. Oh, this oh, I'm talking about this summer. Oh, yeah. No, no, I'm not. His lifetime, he's probably had, I don't know, 15 boats and cars. He's had every truck, every exotic car. Before there was a Lamborghini in here, but he got tired of the Lambo, so he picked up an NSX. He'll probably get tired of this soon and pick up something else. He's very uh, indecisive, and he gets over things very quickly. This truck, I think he's had for like two years. It's the longest he's ever had a car. So when you see like stuff like this for more than two years, it's pretty amazing. And uh, he's working on it. You know, I try to tell him, you know, let's try to save our money, but he doesn't want to. So I guess to him it doesn't matter. He's just gonna enjoy it and keep buying boats and cars and toys and you know live the life looks like uh he's kind of over the vlog and he said he, he's getting sick and tired of it he's got to get in the jacuzzi now whoa what we got a, a straggler in here what the hell with the oh, would you get a new barbecue? <laughs> what the hell is this? Yeah. Wait, wait. First of all, what happened? How the hell did you get in the jacuzzi before him? <laughs> what happened? Are you not feeling well? Or? No, I just saw you guys out there, so I snuck in. This is Rob's buddy Bridge right here. He uh, likes to hang out with Rob and uh, sit in the jacuzzi too. Because, you know, these rich guys over here, they just like to uh, hang out in their jacuzzis all day. You know, us, uh, us poor folks. You know, we gotta, we gotta go wake up, we gotta go work, we got a job, you know, we gotta try to make a dollar, you know, and, and, and take that dollar home if we can. And these guys eat, you know, uh, shrimp and what, scallops. What, what is, this is new, what happened to the barbecue? That's, that's all this, the new one. What is this, why is this better than the other one? The other one's better. bigger though. It looks like though. the Weber's that we take to the desert. Yeah. It cooks better, way more even. All right, so. Looks like we're gonna be eating good tonight here, guys. Cause you know, I only eat good if I come here. If I go home, I eat like top ramen and stuff. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys like this video, don't forget to click that thumbs up button. And if you guys already have not, don't forget to click that subscribe button. But when you guys do, a lot of you guys will let me know you're not getting my notifications. That's because you gotta hit that little bell button. So hit that bell button so you guys will be notified every time I post a new video. So thank you guys for watching. Peace. Yeah.